toy fans? So, back at it again. This one's more of an update, and there's also a lot of news going around right now. So, but I do have a complaint real quick. So, I had to order something. One of these things that spin around for my toys, you know, little statues and stuff like that. And this was the 12-inch one. Comes with 12-inch, 10-inch, and 8-inch. An they came out wrong. But I was so excited to get it. I was like, I always wanted one of these. It's battery powered. It has like a mirror reflection. If I had a light in it, that'd be really cool though. But so I haven't actually messed with it yet, but it rotates. Kind of cool. You can see the dust on it. My uh, my buddy did a video with it already, so I didn't get a chance to play with it yet, though. But the only bad thing about it is it doesn't plug in the wall. It's strictly battery power operated only. But it's a cool concept. Always wanted one. So, ooh, right. So I got it. I'm like, yeah, I feel special. As I'm working in the toy mansion room. Come across this. Yes, it's probably for pizza or a roundabout for food or you know for dinnerware or something like that. But this would have came in handy with like my Godzilla video or some of my bigger statues and stuff. Or if I had multiple figures around, I could rotate them. So my roommate's been hiding this the whole time for me. He claims he doesn't know. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Or he forgot about it. It's okay. I'll get over it though, guys. But now I got two. So Obviously bigger, heavier stuff. That one's more, I'm sure there's a weight restriction on it, but that's gonna be for smaller stuff or whatever. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get some like kind of lights around it or whatever so it reflects off the mirror and so we got maybe highlights on the feature of toys and stuff like that too, so. Mark, mark, mark. But anyways, so I made myself a little list of stuff. I'm so scatterbrained. I haven't done this in like, a, what, a, a month or something like that. So, I want to talk about news first. So, okay. I like my CW stuff. Um, the Arrowverse, which I haven't really watched lately. Ever since uh, post-crisis, everything's been different or all over the place. Um, like, there was a Supergirl episode with a tidal wave coming out of nowhere, and Flash had nothing to do with it. And I thought their cities were, like, right next to each other. So I was like, I thought there would be more tie-ins and stuff like that, so I kind of... Got turned off on it. Don't really watch it. Plus, my boy, Stephen Amell, is gone now. Um, he is somewhere else in a different dimension or reality or whatever with Felicity Smoke. And he's no longer Green Arrow. He's a Spectre, if anything, if they bring him back. Or maybe they'll, they'll see him again down the road somewhere else. But um, So I try to watch The Flash once in a while. It's been really slow to me. I'm not happy with it. Um... Batwoman. I try to watch Batman or uh, Batwoman a little bit. News is they just casted this guy, Mr. Christie or whatever, as a Bruce Wayne, even though it's Hush. I didn't watch it. I saw it off my boy Pagey over there. I like keeping up with this stuff because he reviews all those shows or whatever. But there's another thing going on. Well, season one of Batwoman's gone. Ruby Rose, the one who plays the lead actress of Batwoman is gone. I wasn't really a big fan of her though, but she still pulled it off okay. She had that grim thing going on, like the whole Batman thing going on. There's rumors out there saying, oh, she had medical reasons or this happened. I think she wanted more, she wants more bigger projects and stuff like that. She wasn't able to do the whole nine months is what I think they do in Vancouver for these things. But, well, they're probably gonna recast someone else and uh, I, probably not going to watch it, but I'm in, interested in seeing the whole Bruce Wayne thing. I don't know what he's trying to do. Uh, this Hush guy is trying to bring out Bruce Wayne or something like that, but now there's theories out there saying, oh, Batman's going to be in it, replacing um, uh, Ruby Rose. No, Batwoman will not get replaced. They're just going to recast her. Bruce Wayne might come back, sort of-ish. Now we have a face in the Arrowverse. You know, he actually looks like to uh, a uh, younger version of Kevin Conroy. If you actually compare their pictures together, it's pretty cool, guys. So, but like I said, I really don't keep up with it anymore, too. Um, ever since Arrow has been gone, it's just kind of it slowed down for me a little bit over there. 
Uh, I do watch Supernatural here and there, but it's I don't know what's going on with that right now too. I don't really don't keep up with stuff. So, but nothing's been the same pretty much. So, that's the first part. Two, something I've been hyped up for a long time about, guys, the Snyder Cut. But if you remember, I did a toy video related thing talking about my theories and who said this, it said that probably, you know, just it, fans want it. And guess what? And hopefully it'll tie some stuff up and maybe if they make good money off it or it's actually worth it, maybe Zack Snyder will continue. Because I like his version. I like Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman. I liked all that stuff. Then you had the Justice League that Whedon did. Not really a big fan of it, but they're bringing the Snyder Cut out. And it's all over. There's a huge hype now. You can find it anywhere. You can just Google it, go on YouTube. I guarantee there's gonna be something to pop up about it. So I suppose it's gonna be like a WB is giving like $30 million to finish the project. They're gonna put it on HBO Max. Okay, you know I'm game. But I think it's a hype to get HBO Max going, you know, because everyone wants it. So I'm hoping it pops up on a different network like my Xbox so I can actually own it on digital instead of just having to subscribe somewhere to have a copy of it because I like to have my own copies of stuff especially if I can get to Zach, uh, Zack Snyder's dream kind of in that timeline because the DC is all screwed up right now you have this new Batman come out um, Mr. Uh, Robertson's and you have Wonder Woman and uh, Aquaman are still on the same timeline but they're kind of branching off a little bit uh, Shazam was actually in that universe kind of thing they kind of referenced you know stuff or whatever like the Batarang you see and the kids um, dresser or whatever or desk or whatever so maybe there's a way they can tie all that stuff together and continue it and now they have more characters they can actually do better and they're also supposed to bring the green lantern in who knows guys but i'm really excited for it and it's supposed to be 2021 sometime probably not be till like springtime because you don't want Zack snyder to rush all this stuff and try to get everything done by like christmas for example because he promises us all this stuff and i hope he uh, can actually get that stuff done for us so I'm excited, guys. And if they rush it and it turns out crap, I'm going to be really disappointed. But the fans worked a lot. And WB, I guess, Budge and some other whatever. But um, it's really cool that it's happening. So I hope they take this time, put everything together, and actually make it what the original was supposed to be. So, and I can actually see Zack Snyder, Justice League. I'm excited, man. The Snyder cut. The movement worked, guys. So, all right. Coronavirus stuff, right? Oops, I should have said that word. I don't care. So, because the because everything's opening back up now, uh, for example, around here where I'm at in Tennessee, there's that C4 Games, C4 Entertainment, which I like to go to. Uh, they they're open now. They actually have sales going on. They've been open since Wednesday. Rumor is GameStop's open now. I haven't called and verified yet. I'll go on a limb and say maybe they are. Um, then of course like. Frontline games, where a lot of my buddies go, you know, buy a Magic cards and stuff like that. They got the tournaments going again. So, things are opening back up. I'm hoping for, like, regular hours. We we'll use Walmart, for example. It's supposed to be a 24-hour store. I like shopping late. So, if I can go in there when it, there's less crowd stuff in there, I can go toy hunting again. So, that's one thing I like about GameStop. I miss my toy hunting. So, I'm hoping I can start toy hunting again. And actually come up with some really cool stuff because I haven't done that in like two months now, I think. Everything's been ordering online. Online, online. Speaking online, guys, big bad toy stores. I have I have like nine things on back order, and then two of them was like two Borderlands toys or whatever. And I was supposed to get them back in March. Well, they keep pushing it back. Now we're at the almost the end of May. I emailed them, I was like, what's going on with this stuff? We haven't got our shipment yet. Oh, okay, so I've been trying to fight myself with this. Do I cancel the orders and try to ship, shop somewhere else or just keep it on back order? So I even have stuff I should have got, like I said, the two Borderlands stuff. Uh, uh, I got this King Dora thing. It's supposed to go up to the Godzilla um, from Diamond Select. And supposedly that's supposed to be out soon or I think now or something like that. So then I have like... The Gold Ranger that's supposed to come out here, but I think not until June or something like that. So everything's just getting pushed back, pushed back. So I'm assuming factories and stuff like that are working on it or trying to, but no one's getting their shipments and stuff like that. Kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie because I'm looking forward to this stuff really, really bad. Really bad. But, hey, what can you do though? All right. Oh, yeah. 
cartoons. So, I like completed seasons. The new DC 52 stuff. We have the, the uh, Justice League Apoc or Dark Apocalypse War came out and it pretty much wrapped up that entire thing. So it started pretty much with Flashpoint, but technically it started in Justice League War and all those movies somehow combined together, which completes the story. Batman looked like he had more of it with Robin and stuff going on out there, but that's kind of cool. I don't really tie the Justice League or the uh, Flashpoint really into it because at the very end of it, if you think about it, Flash found Batman and gave him the letter from his dad. So Flash should knew or Batman should knew about the Flash or Flash should knew about Batman. Remember in War, tech I call it number one. That's where he was like, Batman, you're real. So, but fun stuff. It's fun stuff. So there's been a lot going on. I'm excited. This past month, a lot of things has just been going on, I guess. Especially in the news world, the DC world, it looks like, and stuff like that, too. Um, I'm not even going to go into Marvel or DC. I don't know what's going on or uh, Marvel or Sony or any of that stuff right now. Um, I think Godzilla is still, still on for November. I guess we'll find out. Um, but the Toy Mansion Room. So I'm in the process of hanging shelves now. I painted it. All that good stuff. So I am excited to get that stuff going here pretty soon. So I'm going to work on a little bit more and put a video together of what I've done with it and uh, you know some of the painting stuff I did, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So, yoo-hoo! So, um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what's going on. Um, this may be kind of boring, but there's some good stuff in here. Just like, if you just... Keep your imagination together and stay focused on that one thing. Keep that goal going. You know, eventually everything's going to open back up. We can all start toy shopping again or toy hauling or whatever you guys want to call it. So, and I'm excited to get more new stuff. I've been actually getting rid of some of my other stuff too. I, like I sold a uh, Green Lantern to a, a new subscriber actually. Oh, speaking of subscribers guys, I'm over 100. I think I'm 106 right now. So, thank you guys for everything and thanks for the wait. I know nothing new has really come out yet, but um, start seeing a lot of stuff because I have a lot of toys to go over and go through. Uh, Transformers, DC, Marvel, Monsterverse stuff. Yes, I even ordered some different kind of stuff too. So one's like a remote control kind of thing, but I'm hoping it's not a scam. But I'm not going to blow it. So, um, But I guys, hope you have a good time. Thank you guys for over 100 subscribers. You guys are awesome and hopefully we'll keep growing over time. And well, until next time kitties. And remember, you can never, ever go wrong with toys. So, till next time kitties.